Hi, and welcome to this webinar on how to maximize your SEO efforts with the help of ChatGPT. This is for those who couldn't get to the live webinar, but still wanted to get this incredible content. We'll get started right away. So just a little about me before we get started. Uh, I'm the founder of Savity, a digital marketing agency. I'm a digital marketing specialist with over six years of experience. I really have a passion for helping businesses and individuals succeed online. Um, and I concentrate mostly on SEO, performance optimization, keyword research, overall digital marketing, and of late, how to use AI to really enhance your digital marketing efforts. What we're going to go through today, uh, put myself in the middle here, um, oh, actually on the side is what is chat gpt the do's and the don'ts when using this incredible tool the strategy that i've been using to maximize my seo efforts and get really good results and how i can help your business should you need it so uh chat gpt what is chat gpt for those who have been living under a rock for the past couple of months ChatGPT is the latest and the greatest state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. It uses a deep learning algorithm to generate human-like responses to natural language inputs. Essentially, you need to think about it as an incredible superhuman computer that you can talk to as you would any other human being. And it's right at your fingertips and it's free. There is a paid version, but never mind. So it's quite incredible. We're kind of living in the future here. We can talk to AI and we can help it do our everyday tasks. However, that being said, this still the principles still apply. It's still a program. So what I mean by this is garbage in, garbage out is a popular saying when it comes to the coding world. By this, I mean the quality of the output is directly related, sorry, yeah, directly related to the quality of the input. In this case, the quality of your prompt to ChatGPT will determine the quality of ChatGPT's output, which is really important. Yes, this is a very smart program, but it's only as good and as smart as your inputs. So with that, we get to the do's and the don'ts when using this program. The do's is use ChatGPT as an extension of your creativity and your writing. Experiment as much as you can. This tool has nearly no limits from helping you code when you don't know how to write a piece of code to helping you build incredible business plans to really whatever you can think of. But take time and care in creating the prompt. The don'ts, particularly when it comes to digital marketing and your SEO efforts is don't use this as a complete replacement for your writing. That's when you start seeing your content getting penalized. Don't assume this thing is going to solve all your problems. It will solve a fair few of them, but not all of them. And most importantly, don't assume that all the data and information that it provides you is correct. It does get a bit confused sometimes. And remember, up until now, this language model has only been trained to all the information up until 2021. So if you want a lot more uh, up-to-date information, just double check what it's giving you. We're trying to rank in Google and Bing after all. So what does Google think of AI generated content? Is AI content against Google searches guidelines? And essentially it depends. If your content is high quality, reliable, helpful, and it has a target audience in mind, even if it was generated by AI, then it's still gonna rank well. However, if the content is poor and you didn't put any effort into your prompt, any, didn't put any effort into research and just got ChatGPT to write a blur blog, then you will get penalized because that's, it seems as spammy and you're not adding any value, which makes sense. If you want to read more about this, this information is all in Google's SEO guidelines uh, and it's quite clear about its stance on AI generated content. All right, we get to the meat and potatoes of the presentation, which is the strategy that I've been using to generate high ranking content on Google. And we start with five main aspects. Don't worry if this seems like a lot, um, but ChatGPT will do most of this for us. 
The first thing is a little plugin called AI PRM. This is an add-on to ChatGPT, and I'll explain why this is a good idea in a second. The second is keyword research. We still need to do our due diligence to produce that good content. We will do the blog outline first to see if we're happy with the outline before we get ChatGPT to write the whole thing. We will then create the blog section by section. And while we're doing that, we'll also do more optimization for SEO for our blog. Again, if you haven't worked in SEO or digital marketing, don't worry. This makes it very simple with the help of ChatGPT, I promise. So diving deeper into the actual creation of our blog, we have here, we will do a little bit of keyword research with ChatGPT. It'll do all the keyword research for us, trust me, it's very easy. This will help us select the title or the keyword for our blog and even the meta tag description. We'll then do a little bit of Google search research. We'll grab that title, search it on Google and see what are the commonly asked questions about that topic. We'll then grab those questions and make sure that those are answered in our blog. And this is the key difference with this blog and with this strategy that by adding those frequently asked questions about your keywords, then you're really adding value to the reader because you're answering the questions that they're probably asking about that. And this is what makes this non-spammy content. It makes it really highly valuable content that's gonna rank really well. This is the key aspect here. We're then gonna do the blog outline and I'll explain why we do the blog outline first and not the whole thing. And then we're gonna write section by section. This gives us a bit more control of what ChatGPT is writing. And if we don't like the tone, for example, we can just tell it to write in a different tone for that section. So for this instance, <clears throat> I'm gonna write a blog for a client of mine who is called El Saltamontes Lodge. This is a fly fishing lodge based out of the Patagonia in Chile. So my key word here is gonna be fly fishing in the Patagonia. I will highly recommend that you follow along with this, obviously with your business and your industry. So whatever keyword I choose, change it for one that's relevant to your business and your industry. Like I said, the first thing that we're gonna do is get this Chrome extension for ChatGPT. This extension, AI PRM prompts for ChatGPT is a browser extension that adds a curated list of prompts and templates for SEO, marketing, and other uh, things with ChatGPT. Technically, we can do this whole thing strategy without this plugin, but it saves us so much time that I highly recommend it. And that's this whole thing really about ChatGPT. It needs to make you more efficient. So I just wanna show you the plugin so you ensure that you get the right one. Uh, and this is what it looks like on the uh, Chrome Web Store, the AI PRM for ChatGPT. And um, now once you have your, oops, sorry, let me go here, perfect. Once you have your plugin installed, and I'm gonna assume that you've already got account an account with ChatGPT, which is free. We are going to go to ChatGPT. Now you see that uh, my layout of ChatGPT is quite different from the normal one. This is because of the plugin that we've added to it. It changes the layout of ChatGPT. And what it does, these boxes here are pre-populated prompts done by industry professionals, and they can be uh, filtered out by topics here. There's copywriting, marketing, operating systems. I'm gonna go with SEO. That's where I've been uh, playing with this most of the time. And while there are a lot of prompts, we're gonna concentrate on two main prompts here. And that's gonna be the keyword strategy, like I said in the beginning, and then the outline for the blog. So again, using my client, which is a fly fishing lodge in Patagonia, I'm gonna to go to keyword strategy and you see that the bottom here has changed and it's asking me to input my main keyword. So I'm gonna go fly fishing in the Patagonia and click enter. Now, the back end of this prompt is asking ChatGPT to act as a SEO professional and build a keyword strategy around my input, which is saving me a bunch of time. 
And you can see here that it is creating a pretty incredible table from the keyword cluster to the actual keyword to the search intent that the user really wants when they're searching for this, uh, this specific keyword, the title for the blog that you should write about. And it even gives you the meta description for that blog. For those of you who don't know, the meta description is a short paragraph uh, explaining what the blog is about that we often give to Google. So it understands what it is about a lot quicker. So we'll let it do this amazing keyword here, research. And I'm gonna choose something like Patagonia fly fishing, your ultimate guide. I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, and the search intent is an informational and I've got the meta description there, which is great. So I'm gonna copy that. Um, I'm gonna open up another Google doc and I'm just going to make my head a bit smaller, copy and paste this straight into the doc. And I'm gonna start formatting this already. Oop. I'm gonna start formatting this already just so it's good practice. So I've got my title um, and like I said before, so I've done my a bit of my keyword research already. The next step is to do a little Google search research. So we copy our title, we search our title on Google and then we see who's ranking well. And more importantly, when we scroll down, uh, your term of fly fishing guide. So this is perfect. What didn't come up here is the frequently asked questions as well about this. So what we'll do, just give one more go and see if that does anything. We'll choose another keyword that actually has the frequently asked questions. So maybe this one, Patagonian trout, the complete guide. Perfect. So this is what we're after. This little thing here that says people also ask, this is telling us that out of the keywords that we've selected, these are the questions that people were frequently asked about this topic. And this is what's going to really separate our blog from just an or a normal generated blog from ChatGPT. We're going to copy these questions and we're going to place them here just for now. All right. Now with the title uh, copied of your, of our new title, cause we changed it here. So it's the Patagonian trout fishing and complete guide. That seems to be a better keyword for this cause it's got more search volume. Perfect. We've got that copied. We've got that in the title so we don't uh, forget it. We're going to go back to chat GPT and open a new chat. And the new chat is going to be the outline for a blog article. Paste the title there. And again, we make chat GPT do its magic, which is quite cool. So we'll start writing an outline here, which is what we want. But obviously the outline is not going to have all the questions that we've uh, found here that we want it to include. So once we stop this doing all the outline, I'll just pause it for a second. Now ChatGPT has completed my blog outline and I'm pretty happy with it. However, I want to improve it by grabbing the questions that I found and asking ChatGPT to rewrite the blog outline, but ensuring it makes some space within the blog where these questions can be answered. And we kind of tell it to do just that, to be honest. So I will say rewrite the blog outline and ensure where the following questions So my prompt is rewrite the blog outline and ensure you make sections where the following questions can be answered. And I grab those questions, which are the frequently asked questions that we found on Google search. And this is really the kind of the key here, uh, where we're now giving it some 
up-to-date research for ChatGPT. So these questions can change from year to year. Now we're ensuring that it's got the latest information in terms of what people are asking. Um, and we're really optimizing this blog for SEO purposes. I'm just gonna pause this and come back when it's all finished. Perfect, so now it's finished our new blog outline and we see it's answering a few of the questions here. So how much does it cost to finish in Patagonia? How much does it cost to finish Patagonia? The other question we had is, what uh, weight fly rod is used in the Patagonia? And we've got that here. What weight fly rod is used for the Patagonia? Um, so it's answering all of our questions, which is exactly what we want. So now we're going to go and ask it to write section by section, and we're going to add a few prompts to make the writing a little bit better and a little bit more precise. So copying the introduction here on that same chat, what we're going to go do is say now, write all of section one, make sure it's at least 150 words in length, make the zone smart and witty for a fishing um, fishing So now I've said my prompt here is now write all of section one, make sure it's at least 150 words in length and make the tone smart, witty for fishing enthusiasts. So you're giving it a bit more of a understanding of how you want this thing to be written. If your blog writing doesn't tend to be smart and witty and it's more formal, then tell it to write that way. I would often say include the demographics that you're writing to and it understands that. And this allows the blog to be more tailored to what you're writing, which is what we want. We want consistency in all of our blogs. We want a bit of research. And now we're kind of writing a blog that we're really happy with. So while it's writing this blog, the next section, the next thing that you should be thinking about, so this is optimized for SEO, is in all the words that, you, that it's writing here. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to copy that going to delete the questions because it's already answering all those questions and we're going to copy this into our new doc now i have written previous blogs for my clients that answer other questions such as you know general ask questions about the patagonia or trout so what we're going to do is get it to write the second section and while it's writing the second section we're going to start optimizing this blog more for seo and i'll show you how we do that Now write all of section two, location and geography. So while chat GPT is doing its thing, it should have remembered the tone that we wanted to write it in. We are gonna go back to the blog that it has already written so far, and we're gonna see which keywords we can backlink to pre-existing content within our website. Backlinking is a really important factor of SEO. It's just referencing one section to your page to the other. This does two things. It often keeps users longer in your website, which is what you want. And it also tells Google which page kind of is more important or you deem more important in your website. If you've got a bunch of pages linking to the one, then Google is going to think, hey, this page is really important. So here I've got a lot of keywords being Patagonia. What I want to do is look through the blogs that I've written. And I've got one here, questions about the Patagonia, which is something that I want to link to because I know that that's a frequently searched one. So I want that to rank really well. So in Patagonia, I'm going to go, uh, you can press command K to uh, hyperlink something, paste that link. And I'm already doing some backlinking on my website, which usually I can't do until I've kind of finished this whole blog. So I'm saving so much time, but I'm being really conscious with my SEO efforts while I'm doing this. I'm going to go back to uh, the second section that it's written. Perfect. All right, and I'm gonna go copy and paste this section again. Paste it here. I'm gonna start already formatting this ready for my website. And I wonder if I've got a blog about rivers here. 
Mm, I've got one about tips, um, but I can write this section section. Um, and if you're happy now, I'm happy with the, the way that it's writing it, the length that it's writing each section is and all the information that it's providing for me. I am making sure that the information is correct. So you still have to be a, a bit of an expert on what you're writing about, which you should be. It's your website, it's your content. I should be checking that all this information is right. For example, all, all the information about the rivers, uh, the species of trout. Uh, for example, I know, oh no, no, uh, yeah, man like salmon, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna do one more section so that I can show you where else I'm linking to in throughout my website. So uh, now write all of section three, trout and species. I know that I've got a blog specifically about the uh, types of trout in the Patagonia. So I've got this one here. Perfect. Now that it's writing me this. And really, the other thing that also now you've got time to do is think about all the images that you need for the blog. And depending on the length of the blog, um, this one was probably gonna need about three to four images, to be honest, it's gonna be quite long. But now that ChatGPT is freeing you from having to write all this great content, you can concentrate on the other SEO efforts, such as finding the right questions that people are asking, which is gonna enhance your blog. Um, putting your backlinks wherever possible, and now finding the right images for that blog. So again, I'm really happy about this section. It's got rainbow brown trout, brook trout, landlocked salmon. Yes, I know that those are salmon or trout in the Patagonia. Uh, and now rainbow trout, perfect. I can copy the link for this blog and backlink it here. And usually if we do, if we think about all the tasks that we've just done, so sorry, before I go on, this is all what it's about. Now kind of copy, rinse and repeat until you finish the whole blog and you're happy with it. If you're not happy with the tone that it's writing, just ask it to rewrite it in another tone. And now if we think about all the things that we're doing when we're writing this blog, we, we are doing a keyword research. I'll just go into here. So we're doing keyword research. We're doing Google search research. We're doing our backlinking and we're being careful with the tone and we're selecting the images for our blog. So something that would usually take us a whole day is only going to take you about half an hour or even a couple of minutes once you get really good at this. And that's the idea here. This isn't replacing anything, but it's enhancing our creation for well-crafted blogs but you need to be careful about the prompts and you need to do a little bit of research and do your due diligence. So again, if we use this um, Chrome extension to just quicken things up to you, if you do a little bit of keyword research, if you do your Google search research and find the frequently asked questions and go step by step in creating your blog, I promise that you are going to have to start, uh, you're going to start having, um, Search results like this. So this is a website that I launched at the beginning of this year. And already <laughs> I've had about 8,000 impressions within two months, which for anyone that works in the industry is pretty good. I mean, I haven't been able to do that before and I'm not a copywriter, but I've got the good ideas or I think I've got the good ideas. And that's the main point here. Use this as an extension of your writing. Do your due diligence, do the keyword research. It'll do it for you. Do the Google search, research, and add those together, and you're making content that's so valuable that's going to rank really well and pretty quick. If, however, you think that you might still need additional help to ensure that you're doing this correctly and you don't get penalized, because you will get penalized if you do this incorrectly. Obviously, I'm a digital marketing freelancer. I've got this agency. I specialize in SEO, so improving your websites. Uh, engine op search engine optimization so you can get more traffic, more leads or more sales, whatever the intention of the website is. Keyword research, this is often an overlooked thing. So how to find the best keywords for your website that will attract the right customers for you. I do overall digital marketing. So, you know, social media marketing, yes, SEO, conversion rate optimization, email and content creation. And what's been really popular at the moment is these one-on-one -on -one sessions that I'm doing 
to teach you or your team how to use ChatGPT to maximize your SEO efforts and improve your online presence. We can do one-on-one -on -one or we can do it for your marketing team, you know, one session and they're kind of set up to use this correctly, but just be careful when when done incorrectly, it can really harm your rankings and you will get penalized. But you should be using this, your marketing team should be using this to their advantage. If they don't, I'm afraid to say that they will be falling behind quite quickly. So if you do need a hand um, and you'd like to work with me to work with you, feel free to scan the QR code on the video or shoot me an email through at info at and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I would love to work with you. Um, additionally, this whole guide that I've done in this video, I also have as a PDF. And if you'd like that to give you to your team, I would love to give that over to you. Just shoot me through an email again at info at savvy.com.au and you will get this whole work walkthrough that we've just done in a PDF format so you can have it in your tool belt uh, and you can start killing it in SEO with the help of ChatGPT. That's all that I've got here today. I hope this has added value to you. I promise and I am certain that if you follow the steps that we went through, you will create high ranking content. Obviously you have to be a little bit patient, but this just makes it so much quicker. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll do a few more of these uh, webinars. There's a lot more strategies that I've been using with ChatGPT to increase my traffic, such as generating uh, simple web apps that do very simple, helpful tasks that increase your traffic. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.